Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mark Tamanov and Vladimir Lyovdansky. This game was played in Leningrad in 1961. Tamanov had white pieces and he started with d4. Vladimir Lyovdansky played knight to f6. c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, d6, king's Indian defense. Knight to f3, Lyovdansky castled king's side, bishop to e2, black to move, e5, knight from b to d7, and c5 are the three most played moves. Lyovdansky played bishop to g4. Since white bishop is on e2, this move is not very powerful. Bishop to e3 was played. Knight from f to d7, intending c5. Rook to c1, c5, d5. That is what Petrosian would play too. Knight to b6, knight to d2, bishop takes on e2, queen takes on e2, e6, attacking white center, and Taimanov casts at king's side. Rook to e8, white move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Temano played a4, tempting black to win the pawn on a4. e takes on d5, e takes on d5, knight to a6. Well, Lyabdansky decided not to take the knight and win the pawn. If bishop takes on c3, pawn takes bishop and black wins a pawn. That is what Temano had in mind. Black is a pawn up, but there are weaknesses on dark squares around black king. Knight to a6 was played. King to h1. Knight to c7. Queen to d3. Knight to d7. Lyabdansky values his bishop more than winning a pawn. Well, still possible. On the surface it looks good for black. White is not threatening anything immediately. Ok. Back to our game. The gift was not accepted. Knight to d7 was played. f4. Knight to a6. Bishop to f2. Taimanov is moving pieces in preparation for e5. Knight to b4. Attacking the queen, queen to f3, a6, knight to c4, getting there. But now queen to b8. This is played in order. Meet e5. Lyabdansky calculated that e5 is played. He will win a pawn. Additionally, black queen on b8 may support pawn push to b5. Why to move? This is now the critical position of the game. Should white play e5 or not? What would you do? Taimano did. e5. d takes on e5. f takes on e5. Bishop takes on e5. Lyovdansky calculated correctly. He won a pawn. But Taimano calculated even deeper. Let's see what Temano had in mind. Why did he sacrifice the pawn? Knight to e4. Attacking the pawn on c5. And more. If, for example, black plays now b6. Defending. This is what Temano had in mind. Bishop takes on c5. And after b takes on c5, queen takes on f7 check. Very clever. But after knight to e4, instead of b6, Lyabdansky played f5. Knight takes on c5, knight takes knight, bishop takes on c5. Who is better? Material is equal, but white pieces are better placed. And because of f5 pawn push, blacking is quite exposed. Also, white has a pawn on d-file, which is potentially very dangerous. 
to move a5 defending the knight d6 bishop to f6 white to move there is more than one way to win for white this is Taimano's choice bishop takes on b4 bishop takes knight on b4 perhaps some players would prefer to exchange the bishop for black dark square bishop this is done in order to eliminate the defender of d5 square a takes on b4, queen to d5 check, king to g7, white to move. White play the move and black designed. The move is knight to b6 attacking the rook and threatening rook to c7 check. Let's say that black wants to save the rook and plays rook to a6. Rook to c7 check. If king goes to h8, then queen to f7 is winning. And if king goes to h6, then again queen to f7 with a double threat, queen takes on h7 and queen takes bishop. If king goes to g5, h4, king takes on h4, queen takes on f6, check, king to g4, rook takes on h7, black is lost, he may as well capture the knight and then there is checkmate in one. Queen takes on g6, mate. Nicely played game by Mark Tamanova. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.